MDOT does not want you wasting time sitting at red lights anymore. It is installing adaptive smart traffic signals on more of the busiest roads in the region. John Shumway explains where they will be installed and how they're going to work. PennDOT says the Murraysville system reduces commutes in some cases by 50 percent. McKnight Road drivers are experiencing benefits as well, and this year that system will be connected to the system in the Wexford Flats. And another system is being completed in Bridgeville near I-79. Now come three new systems in the pipeline for this year. Route 30 in Forest Hills. It does carry a tremendous amount of traffic. Uh, down Ardmore Boulevard. An adaptive system will electronically tie the eight lights from the parkway to Avenue B together into a cohesive system. You know, with all the adaptive systems, we, we'd like to see that progression going towards the parkway um, in the morning and in the afternoon, just the reverse taking place, the progression going from the parkway back down through Forest Hills. Bendot will also be installing an adaptive system at the Crafton exit off 79 and the light at the get go just down Route 60. Kravitz hopes it will eliminate bottlenecks by doing what adaptive systems do. It varies based on the amount of traffic at that intersection and it services the greatest need. The largest new adaptive system coming this year by far is on Route 8. About 24 traffic signals from Catanian Street all the way up to Dickey Road in Richland Township. Some of the intersections already have cameras, but more will be added along with laser and infrared sensors. Most of the work that we're going to be doing is going to be doing off-peak times. Most of that work off of the driving lanes. So when will your commuting load be lightened? I'm thinking sometime, you know, late November, early December. Uh, they'll, they'll start noticing the differences. Now, if you drive Route 51 for the Liberty Tunnel South or 19 through the South Hills, you're probably wondering, what about us? Well, PennDOT is working on those plans, but it's going to be a couple of years down the road. In Hampton Township, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.